right, shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachaf Farash, which is to say the only true name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew tongue. Also, I want to give double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who rule well, top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And also want to send out a hearty shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in effort to waking up the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. And to the believers in the few sisters that watch, I say shalom to you as well. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami. Coming back at you with another spiritual spill. And as usual, nothing written down, just flowing through the spirit. And at best, we'll quote some precepts. Okay? But, um... You know, just sitting, you know, on this quote-unquote Memorial Day. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, you know, just meditating on how, uh, you know, the Lord, you know, the Lord, man, the Lord is, is ice cold, man. He's ice cold. And... What I mean by that is everything that we perceive or Salaki like that we've been given an understanding of as it pertains to the scriptures is being fulfilled. You know? And um you can't help, you know, if you're sincere, you can't help but but to be in awe of it, you know? Now, being all in awe of it doesn't mean like you just sitting back and being a fanatic. No, 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 no. That means you're in awe of it. So you become a fanatic of it. Okay. And a believer and sincere. And then you, 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 you push the envelope. Okay. Like they say in the world, you know, uh, basically going into, you know, let him run that readeth, you know, and that word readeth goes into understanding, you know, so. Those that understand what these scriptures are saying, you can't help but to run and go tell people like, you know, Paul Revere, you know, the British are coming, the British are coming, you know, he had, he had care for the people, you know, he rode a horse through the town and it, it was alarming them to get ready, you know, to, 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 to fight off the British. Well, hey, that's the same thing that we're doing here in uh, 2024, you know, and beyond, you know, until the Lord uh, comes back. Is letting them is letting our people know and more specifically the elect of the nation of israel now you know um all of our people are gonna hear this the scriptures say have they not heard surely they have heard their voice went into the ends of the earth you know so ain't gonna be no excuse for nobody you know because we we we're, we're hey through the spirit and power of your how about you we're prophesying man we're letting people know what's about to happen before it happens. That's what the word prophesy means. It means to say before. Okay? And the, not that we're on a level, but the Bible is on a level. It tells you what's going to happen before it's going to happen. See? And whether you hear or forbear, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> you know? Bars. You know? But nah. Anyway, um... But seeing all these things, like yeah, man, we need to we need to be on fire, man. We need to be fervent, you know. Now, let's let's what what's the barometer for being on fire? Is it is it leveling up to Elder Apostle Tahar, Elder Apo uh, Apostle Racha, or Elder Apostle uh, Gabar, or Elder Apostle Ramla? Okay, or, or, or on down to. Uh, you know, uh, Saquon, uh, Elder, Elder Yashawamba, you know, uh, Elder Mahama, like, uh, well, what's the, what's the barometer? Well, the scriptures say he would that we show the same diligence. Now there's levels. Okay. A brother that came into the truth three years ago, can't keep up or push out videos or edification on the level that an elder apostle, uh, to our could. You know, or Elder Malcolm or Elder Yashawama could, you know. 
So what what what's the balance? Well, the scriptures when you go into it diligence, it means to keep doing it. You know, don't stop. And guess what? The scriptures say that what uh, Paul planted Apollo's water, but the Most High giveth the increase. You know, roughly paraphrasing, I might have it backwards, but you know, the Most High giveth the increase. You see. So our job is to be diligent, is to keep doing what we love to do, you know? And the only way you're going to be able to say enduring this thing is if, if you love to do it. And more importantly, if you love your how by Shemal Shah. And if you can boldly profess that and show it through your actions and your works, then that means the Lord loved you first, you see? And that's the beauty of what we've been called into. That's why we got to be on fire. We got to be fervent, okay? The scriptures, hey, it says, uh, 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 What's that? Uh, Revelations three. Uh, is it two? It might be two, two and ten, if I'm not mistaken. Matter of fact, let me let me grab it real quick. Let me grab it real. Quick. Bear with me. Bear with me. Oh, man. Bear with me. Okay, bear with me, I can, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, I promise. I promise to the spirit of power, y'all by Shemal Shai. Okay, um, what did I want? Okay, Revelations. Yeah, Revelations 2. Bear with me, bear with me. Satan trying to do his one too, but we we gonna we gonna one up, we gonna one up Satan. Watch this. We gonna we gonna loop. We gonna we gonna one up. Resist the devil, he shall flee. Right. Yeah, yeah, he busy. But uh, real quick, real quick, let me see. Let me see. But yeah, the, the the main point, brothers, like we need we need to be on fire, you know. And, and, and one of the main reasons is because prophecy is unfolding exactly how the heavenly father said it would according to the scriptures okay and the only way you're going to be able to see that is if you you, you know you, you're keeping the commandments the law standards and commandments to the best of your uh, uh, best of your best of your ability and what i mean by that is the scriptures tell you our, our lord yahweh shah told us what watch as well as pray you see watch meaning what look at look at what's going on in the world 
Look what's, look at what's going on in the Levant. Okay. Look what the the, the small hatters. Okay, the 1948ers, the J double zeros. Okay, look what look what they're doing, and look at the ruckus that they're causing in the world, and look at how the nations are looking at it, and then go into the scriptures and see like, oh, okay, yeah, the least of the flock should draw them out. Okay, you should be ecstatic about this, man. You know. And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, man. Uh, let me see. Okay, yeah. That's where it is. That's where it is. I got it. I got it. Bear with me. I'm going to grab it real quick. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 3. Hmm. This is Revelation chapter 3, verse... Uh, Yep, Revelation chapter 3, verse uh, 16. It says, So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew. Salakia. I gotta go up. I got to go up. Uh, let me see. Yep, uh, Revelation chapter 3, verse 15. It says, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor nor hot you see i know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot i would thou work cold or hot right so the lord is saying you just pick a side man you know and this is in red letters our lord yahweh shy saying this okay so the reality is the lord is saying look pick a side you know like meaning you know as a man like man the fuck up bro like what you what you think this is the Heavenly Father is a, is is a, is a you know is a pushover to where you can you can you can uh, 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 straddle the fence and then at the last minute say okay I'm on right your side nah nah th this shit don't work like that the Lord saying I would you were cold or hot you know and it's more specifically speaking to those Israelites those that know that they're Israelites okay and will not come to the true doctrine. But want to live off the the, 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 the the royal vibration of knowing that you're an Israelite. Man, the most high gonna kill your ass, man. And this proves it. Revelation 3, let me read 15 again. It says, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. And would thou work cold or hot? Verse 16. So then, because thou art lukewarm, right, meaning you playing the fence, I got I know the truth. But I still want to be a nigga. I still want to dig and dibble and dabble in the world, right? It says, so then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, right? Being a bullshit artist, it says, I will spew thee out of my mouth. You see? I will spew thee out of my mouth. And when the Heavenly Father spews you out of his mouth, you're fair game for whatever happens to you, okay? Meaning you, you giving over to the left-hand side. You know, because you thought you could bullshit the Most High. You thought you could be a part of IUIC and say Most High in Christ blessed when the, the, the true name of Yahweh by Shemar Shah has already been professed. Okay? And especially with you at IUIC. Your, 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 your beloved Bishop, Bishop Nathaniel. Yeah, he did a breakdown on the name of being Yahweh by Shemar Shah. And, and, and it's an edifying lesson. He's spot on. Okay? But he won't tell y'all about that. Why? Because he's a sellout. Sellout, bug out. You know? But anyway, okay? Um, so going back to the point, man, the Lord rather you be on fire. You know, well, 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 look. The Lord rather you be on fire or you be cold. Why? Because when you when you're lukewarm, 
you're trying to you like you're trying to outsmart the most high which is absolutely impossible okay so yeah brothers hey seeing what's going on seeing what's about to happen okay wholeheartedly believing and having faith in what the scriptures say we should we should be we should be on fire man mean and what i mean by on fire okay meaning you know filled with the spirit of yahweh by shimei Shai and filtering every aspect of our lives through the scriptures okay are we gonna slip and fall of course we're still in the wicked flesh you know but we got to deny it we got to deny it and how do you deny it you walk in the spirit like our lord yahweh Shai said watch as well as pray you know watch the prophecies and then pray that Yahweh Shemal Shah has mercy on you to deliver you in a time of trouble. Okay? But nonetheless, we should be lit through the spirit, man. We should be lit through the spirit. Now I I you know I speak as a man, but I perceive it through our elder apostles. Okay? Now obviously, you know, because of their walking this thing and the years that they put in, there's a certain level of austerity that comes with that, you know? But nonetheless, you know. Uh, when you're spiritual, you can peel back the layers and see that these men are rejoicing that the prophecies that they were telling back in the 80s are happening right now. Okay? So, hey, let's let's, hey, hey, let's, let's be our brother's keeper. You know? Let's be our brother's keeper and continue to push this word. Be instant in season and out. Okay? Uh, do the work of an evangelist and, um, you know, make full proof of our ministry. And if we continue to do that to the end, we're out of here, okay? And Babylon's going to burn, right? Let's go. Kwam Yasharala, Shalom.